silicone and It says it's good up to 450 Fahrenheit and egg ring. So we'll see how this works out. Some has already leaked around the edge and stuff, but maybe I just didn't suction it enough to the, to the bottom or something. spices and pepper. I'm going to have some cheese and mayo. So cheese and mayo and then I'm going to put some salsa on there from Western Family Foods which I got at Save on Foods. Uh, this one's a mild one so it's not too hot. I really like it a lot. So it's got a lot of yumminess in there. It's great on there. So you can just put it right on on top of your, your egg that you cooked. You can put bacon in there. You could pretty much do anything you want with it. So you can add on the eggs and salsa and some uh, yummy cheese. That's really all up to what you want to do. Um, I put it on two different breads. Put a bit of spice sauce. I like spice, spice stuff. So I made two different sandwiches but pretty much the same ingredients. With the egg inside and some cheese. So it looks pretty, pretty good. Eat it and I think we'll see what it tastes like and I'll let you know. So it looks a little messy, but uh, these are all the items that I used in the sandwich. I used a little bit of sweet Thai chili, some salsa sauce, medium from Western Family, and then I got steak, steak seasoning rub, which I put a little bit in there, you don't want too much, some Miracle Whip, and uh, some cheese and stuff. So I used chapata bread, chapata bread. This one here, chapata bread. And then I use this one, flax quinino, quinito style loaf. Bread. This was for this one. So, anyways, I'll let you know what the sandwich tastes like. Uh, I'm trying to kind of play around and experimenting in general, but it gives you an idea what those egg rings were like and how you can use them. 